thought it was impossible to have a backpackable downhill bike, dirt bike, street bike, scooter, or modular ATV, UTV, snow track, 6x, and much, much more in the same vehicle? Think again. Recon Gear is going to change your idea of bike DNA. Hi folks, Pat Daddy here. I'd like to take a moment to explain to you uh, what's going on. While I was in Afghanistan, I invented the world's first folding, collapsible, backpackable motorcycle. And this is an idea that came to me because I was seeing things that the bikes that were available or not available were not helping the soldiers to do their mission. So this came to a head for me when I saw the Special Forces having to buy bikes off the street in Afghanistan and these were cheap Chinese bikes and I decided that wasn't acceptable to me. So I get upset when I see the soldiers who don't get the equipment that they need. So with no experience at all, I decided to uh, change the situation myself. Now I'm a person that believes in that one man and one idea can change the way things are done. And this has been a micro budget project. I mean, there is plumbing pipe in this bike, there's a Ford truck hinge, the body panels are placemats from the dollar store that were glued together and covered with texture paint. Just to prove the point that if I could build this, then a manufacturer has no excuse in providing these bikes to the people that need it. So after I brought the bike home and patented it, I also set out to prove that what if one bike could be used to fulfill all the missions that we have and all the purposes that we use bikes for. Well, I can do a lot with a little, but I can't do anything with nothing. So that's why I need your help. The best idea in the world first has to cross a large gap and become a viable business. Now I'm asking for $20,000 because $20,000 was getting me this far and uh, being awarded a patent it's in the top 2% of inventions and building the prototype this far. I need another $20,000 to stay in business where I have to pay for expert uh, assistance and I also have to pay the fees for the completion of the patents. So you're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this. On my part, I have no problem thinking outside the box, but stepping outside one's comfort zone is not very easy. I have no experience in fabricating metal, patent drawings, uh, business and marketing research, and I sure have no shortage of bike snobs who have told me I've had no business developing a bike because I wasn't a lifelong gearhead. I have fallen back on some advice that I once got on my first job overseas, where I said, yeah, I didn't have any experience in what I was being asked to do. And I was told, son, you're an American paratrooper. You've got more capability in your little finger than third world nationals have in their entire body. Figure it out. So that's what I decided to do. And I've never been more successful, felt more confident or capable than when I had a brain in my head and jungle boots in my feet. But more importantly, I need you to remember this video and the day that you no longer had to accept the idea of what I call single purpose bikes and cycles that we have and should have the ability to have bikes that have a wide range of capability. And that this bike is just the first stepping stone in a series of game changers that will be coming your way. Hi folks, I'm here with Larry Sadler. He is the inventor of the whole this is an electric vehicle with onboard generation. So you, you actually generate on the fly your own power station? Absolutely. But well, when the bike is parked, it in effect acts like a generator with wheels on it. Exactly. Uh, this is uh, a totally autonomous system. Uh, also, uh, produces AC power and uh, can be used power tools, radios, computers. Yeah, 
also uh, off off the rate power source. The uh scales up and down. A lightweight motorcycle is really less soft. That is correct. It is uh, fully scalable and uh, mileage from the converted vehicles are usually three times of what the gas counterparts that it replaces does. And we have two international patents on this technology. That is correct. I have two international patents uh, that cover uh, the uh, complete bolt system, which is uh, high output for function electric. Uh, never before has a bike been invented that was made by a veteran for special ops well in the war zone. No Japanese, Chinese, or Korean bike can say that. And even if you can't afford to give to this campaign in the Christmas and New Year season, there's something else important that I need you to do. I need you to spread the word, to send a video to other people, so that they can also know that we're going to change the way people ride. I'm not going to say if you don't have a little extra Christmas bonus money that you'd like to give, I'd sure appreciate it because this is going on the third year that I haven't been able to buy Christmas presents until I get this project done. And what we also need from you is that send us your comments, your tweets on what would a truly all-purpose bike mean to you? What experiences have you had or what would you like to see a bike that can do that's not already available? And I also want you to remember, just because I'm coming from a military background, that a capable bike is a benefit to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're military, police, rescue, outdoor sports, utility, or just people who want to ride. Now is your time to join the Rat Pack that's going to bring a new bike to the public market. Thank you.